What if everything you've been told about yourself is only part of the picture? What if you're not just a human being, you're actually a divine force, experiencing life through human form? Stay with me, because understanding this truth will revolutionize how you see yourself and the world around you. Imagine you're not just flesh and bone, but a spark of divine energy cloaked in a physical body. It sounds wild, right? But this shift in perception could change everything you think you know about life and existence. Get ready to embark on a transformative journey that blends ancient wisdom with cutting-edge quantum science, revealing your true essence. This isn't about New Age clichés, it's the core of spiritual empowerment that's rarely talked about, yet immensely powerful. You're on the brink of a revelation that could completely shift your understanding of yourself and the universe. Ready to unlock your divine potential? Stick around to uncover the full truth and the tools to awaken the limitless power within. Like and subscribe now. You won't want to miss this. You may think you're just made of flesh and bones, but think again. Have you ever felt a deep connection to something greater than yourself? It's no coincidence. Quantum physics is beginning to validate what ancient mystics have understood for millennia. It's about to flip your understanding of reality. Are you ready to see yourself for who you truly are? Picture a world where your thoughts actually shape reality. This isn't some abstract idea, there's science to back it up. Enter the double slit experiment, a mind-bending demonstration that shows particles behave like waves until they're observed. Once observed, they lock into place as solid particles. It's as if reality is waiting for consciousness to give it form. This goes beyond a scientific curiosity. It has profound implications for how we understand reality and our role within it. If particles can exist in multiple states until observed, what does that say about how your thoughts might be shaping your life? Think back to a day when everything seemed to fall into place, or maybe a stretch where nothing went your way. What if that wasn't just random chance? What if your consciousness was literally shaping your experiences? If your thoughts can influence particles in a lab, what else could they influence in your life? This is where science begins to echo the ancient wisdom of mystics who have long spoken about the power of the mind to shape reality. Quantum entanglement, what Einstein called spooky action at a distance, reveals that particles can be instantly connected across vast distances, communicating with each other regardless of space and time. Does that sound familiar? It parallels the spiritual concept of a universal consciousness, the idea that all minds are interconnected. Now, let's get personal. If consciousness shapes reality at the quantum level, and you are a conscious being, what does that mean for your ability to shape your life? It means you're not just a passive observer, you're a co-creator of your reality. Every thought, belief and expectation plays a role in shaping the world you experience. That's a lot of power and a lot of responsibility. But before you start trying to manifest extravagant things, know this. It's not about wishful thinking. It's about recognizing your true nature as a conscious being with the ability to influence reality. You're not separate from the universe. You are the universe, experiencing itself from a unique perspective. This realization turns everything society has taught you about your limitations upside down. You're not bound by your circumstances. They are simply temporary conditions. Your true self is infinite. Ask yourself, what stories have you been telling yourself about who you are? Those stories aren't just harmless. They are shaping your experience. Your beliefs about your limitations are not set in stone. They can be rewritten. Quantum physics and ancient wisdom converge on this powerful truth. The limitations you perceive are self-imposed, and if they're self-imposed, they can also be dismantled. So, what if you've been living under a grand illusion of limitation all this time? You've been told that you're small, powerless, and constrained by your body or past experiences. But that's not the truth. Those stories are just that, stories. 
In reality, you're a divine being, a fragment of universal consciousness in human form. Understanding this could radically change your life. Challenges that once seemed overwhelming can become opportunities for growth as you reconnect with your limitless nature. How many times have you held yourself back because you believed you weren't capable, worthy or ready? Those weren't truths, they were conditioned beliefs. Changing those beliefs isn't easy. Your mind may resist, clinging to what it knows, but real growth happens at the edges of discomfort. The more you embrace this truth, the more you realize how powerful you truly are. You are part of something much larger, and every thought and action has a ripple effect on the whole. This understanding can profoundly shift how you approach life. And here's the good news. You don't have to figure this out on your own. There are ancient, practical techniques that can help you tap into your divine nature. Techniques grounded in both spiritual wisdom and modern science. Take meditation and mindfulness, for example. These aren't just buzzwords. They're scientifically backed methods to connect with your true self. Meditation isn't about emptying your mind. It's about becoming aware of your thoughts, feelings, and sensations, and realizing that beneath it all, there's a deeper, constant awareness. That's your connection to the infinite. Let's try it now. Close your eyes, take a deep breath, and instead of focusing on your thoughts, notice the space between them. That stillness, that quiet, is where your true power lies. In that gap, you can access your divine nature. By practicing this regularly, you begin to realize you're not just your body or your thoughts, you're the awareness observing them, part of something far greater. When you tap into that stillness, you're not just changing yourself, you're affecting the world around you. Every time you align yourself with the universe in this way, you contribute to the collective consciousness. Imagine how this awareness could transform your daily decisions and how you approach your life. Imagine for a moment if you truly understood that your actions and thoughts were influencing the entire universe, how might your relationships transform? What if you saw everyone as intrinsically connected to the same divine source? This isn't just about feeling good or reducing stress. It's about rediscovering your true self. It's about reclaiming your power as a co-creator of reality. Every time you practice mindfulness, you're not merely observing your thoughts, you're witnessing the universe observing itself through you. Now, if this seems overwhelming, don't worry. Like any skill, it takes practice. Start small, set aside a few minutes each day to sit in stillness and observe your thoughts. Notice the spaces between them and feel the silence. With time, you'll begin to sense that deeper connection. Here's the exciting part. This is only the beginning. Meditation and mindfulness lay the foundation, but even more powerful techniques await. Techniques that can propel you beyond the physical and into realms you never imagined. What if you could tap into your divine nature right now, in this very moment? You've experienced the power of meditation, but imagine stepping entirely out of your body. There exists a realm beyond the physical where time and space bend to your will. Are you ready to explore the infinite? Your journey into universal consciousness doesn't end with meditation, it's just the beginning. Picture yourself exploring the cosmos without ever leaving your bed. This isn't science fiction, it's your birthright. Welcome to the world of astral projection and lucid dreaming. These aren't just elaborate terms for daydreaming. They're powerful tools that allow you to experience your multidimensional nature firsthand. Astral projection involves consciously separating your awareness from your physical body, while lucid dreaming means becoming fully aware within your dreams, gaining the ability to control and shape the dream environment. Those who master these techniques report profound experiences, feelings of bliss, encounters with otherworldly beings, and access to universal knowledge. Some even claim to have visited other planets or dimensions. Sound far-fetched? Maybe, 
But remember, quantum physics is already revealing that reality is far stranger than we ever thought. Now, you might wonder, is this safe? The short answer is yes, as long as it's approached responsibly. Begin with meditation and mindfulness to build the focus and awareness needed for these experiences. For beginners, try this. As you're drifting off to sleep, keep your mind alert while letting your body relax. Focus on the sensation of your body growing heavy, sinking into the bed. Then imagine yourself floating upward. Don't force it. Simply hold the intention and see what happens. Over time, you might start to feel vibrations or a buzzing sensation. This is a common precursor to the separation from the physical body. If you feel fear or resistance, that's perfectly normal. Remember, you're safe. You're merely expanding your awareness beyond its usual limits. These experiences aren't just fascinating, they're transformative. Each journey offers undeniable evidence that your consciousness isn't confined to your physical form. They reinforce the profound truth we've been exploring. You're not just a human having spiritual experiences, you're a spiritual being having a human experience. But here's the thing, you don't need to master astral projection to reap the benefits. Simply knowing these experiences are possible can radically shift your worldview. It challenges the deeply ingrained belief that you're limited to your body or this three-dimensional reality. How might this new understanding change the way you face life's challenges? If you knew in your bones that you were more than your body and your thoughts, how would it affect your decisions, your relationships, your sense of purpose? This isn't about escaping reality, it's about expanding your perception of what reality truly is. It's about recognizing the vastness of your true nature and integrating that awareness into your everyday life. When you align your thoughts with your divine nature, you allow universal energy to flow through you, manifesting your desires in ways you may have never imagined. This isn't about forcing outcomes or controlling every aspect of your life. It's about setting clear intentions and then surrendering to the wisdom of the universe. Trust that the energy you send out will return to you in perfect harmony with your highest good. But here's where it gets truly fascinating. As you rewrite your personal reality, you're not just transforming your own experience. Remember, we are all connected through the zero point field. Your shift in consciousness ripples out, affecting the collective reality we all share. Imagine the possibilities if more people understood this truth, if we all recognized our power as co-creators. How might this awareness reshape the world? It's not just about manifesting individual desires, it's about collectively programming a reality of peace, abundance and harmony for all. And it begins with you, right here, right now. Every thought, every belief, every expectation is like a line of code in the program of your life. So what will you choose to write? You're not just creating code, you're crafting a legend. Yet most people don't realize they are the protagonists in their own hero's journey. What if the challenges you face aren't random, cruel twists of fate, but purposeful plot points in your cosmic story? Consider this. Every obstacle, every setback, every moment of doubt is part of your character development. You're not a victim of circumstance. You're the hero of an epic tale, and it's time to embrace that role. This is a powerful way to frame your life's journey, one rooted in both ancient wisdom and modern psychology. Joseph Campbell referred to it as the hero's journey, a pattern found in myths and stories across cultures throughout history. But here's the divine part. It's not just a storytelling device, it's a map for your spiritual evolution. Each challenge you encounter is an opportunity to grow, to reconnect with your divine essence, and to remember who you truly are. Remember how we talked about rewriting your reality? This is the next level. Rather than just altering individual beliefs, you're reframing your entire life story. You are not merely a character in the drama. You are the author, the director, and the star. 
So how do you start living like the hero you are? First, recognize that every difficulty is a call to adventure. That promotion you didn't get, that relationship that ended. They aren't failures, they're plot twists, nudging you toward your true path. When you're faced with a challenge, instead of asking, why is this happening to me? Try asking, what is this teaching me about my divine nature? This simple shift in perspective can turn a moment of crisis into a catalyst for growth. But here's where most people get stuck. They grasp the concept intellectually, but struggle to apply it when things get tough. This happens because we're conditioned to view challenges as threats, not opportunities. It takes practice to rewire this response. Here's a helpful exercise. Next time you encounter a difficult situation, take a step back and imagine your life as a movie. What would the hero do in this scene? How would they respond from a place of courage, wisdom, and universal consciousness? This doesn't mean ignoring your emotions or pretending everything is perfect. It's about acknowledging that you have the power to choose your response to life's challenges. You can play the victim or you can step into your power as the hero. In every great story, the hero faces trials and setbacks. These challenges aren't random. They are designed to help the hero uncover their true strength and purpose. Your life is no different. Those obstacles are not there to break you, they're there to make you. As you start viewing your life through this lens, something remarkable happens. You stop feeling like you're at the mercy of external circumstances. You begin to see the bigger picture, the grand design behind your journey. You realize you're not merely wandering through life, you're on a sacred quest of self-discovery and spiritual awakening. This shift in perspective not only changes how you view your problems, but it transforms how you see yourself. You start recognizing your own divinity, your connection to the universal consciousness. You understand that you're not just a small, limited being. You're a powerful spiritual entity experiencing life in human form. And here's where it gets even more interesting. Your hero's journey isn't just about you. As you overcome your challenges and step into your power, you contribute to something far greater. You play a crucial role in the evolution of collective consciousness. Every time you choose courage over fear, love over hate, understanding over judgment, you're not just changing your story, you're helping to shift the story of humanity itself. You're raising the vibration of the entire planet. Think your spiritual journey is a solo adventure. Think again. Every step you take on your path to awakening sends ripples through the universe. You're not the only one creating waves. Your personal growth isn't just about you, it's part of a much larger cosmic dance of consciousness. Remember the zero point field? That invisible energy connecting all things isn't just a connector, it's a communicator. Every thought, every action, every moment of growth ripples out into this field, influencing the entire fabric of reality. This isn't just a feel-good idea, it's supported by cutting-edge science and ancient wisdom alike. Quantum entanglement demonstrates that particles can be connected across vast distances. Now, imagine that on a cosmic scale. Your consciousness isn't isolated. It's entangled with the entire universe. This means your personal awakening is part of a much larger narrative. As you expand your consciousness, you contribute to the evolution of humanity as a whole. You're not just a drop in the ocean. You're a wave influencing the entire sea. Co-creating the future of humanity is a reality and you hold the power to shape it, but chances are you've been using that power unconsciously, like a toddler wielding a loaded gun, firing off reality-shaping thoughts without even realizing it. What if you could aim that power with precision? It's time to awaken to your role as a universal co-creator. Remember when we talked about how consciousness shapes reality at the quantum level? This isn't just happening in labs, it's happening right now in your life. Every thought, belief and expectation is like a brushstroke on the cosmic canvas. You're not just observing the universe, you're actively creating it. But here's the catch. 
Most people are painting blindfolded, co-creating their reality without even knowing it. Imagine the masterpiece you could create if you took off that blindfold and started painting consciously. This isn't just a feel-good metaphor. It's backed by ancient wisdom and cutting-edge science. The zero-point field we discussed doesn't just connect everything. It responds to your consciousness. Your thoughts and intentions are literally shaping the fabric of reality. So how do you begin wielding this power consciously? It starts with recognizing your true nature. You are not just a physical being having occasional spiritual experiences. You are a spiritual being having a physical experience. When you align with this truth, you tap into the infinite potential of the universe. Here's a simple exercise to shift your mindset from lack to abundance. Close your eyes and take a deep breath. Instead of focusing on what you don't have, visualize what you want as if it's already here. Feel the joy, gratitude and abundance as if it's real in this moment. This isn't just positive thinking, it's aligning your consciousness with the universal flow of abundance. As you practice this, you'll start to notice changes. Opportunities will appear, synchronicities will increase. It's not magic, it's you learning to co-create consciously with the cosmos. Practice seeing the divine in others as well. Remember, they are also gods having a human experience, even if they've forgotten. This shift in perception can transform your relationships, fostering deeper connections and understanding. Use your co-creative power consciously. Set clear intentions for your day, your week, your life. Visualize what you want to create, not from a place of lack, but from a place of divine abundance. Feel the reality of your desires as if they've already manifested. This isn't wishful thinking, it's aligning your consciousness with the infinite potential of the universe. And remember, don't get bogged down trying to control every detail. You're co-creating with the cosmos. Set your intentions, then surrender to the flow. Trust that the universe is working with you even when things don't go as planned. Those unexpected twists, they're often the universe delivering something even better than you imagined. As you integrate these practices, you'll likely notice changes. Synchronicities may increase, opportunities may appear out of nowhere, and you may find yourself handling stress with more grace or feeling a deeper sense of purpose. Pay attention to these shifts. They're signs that you're aligning more fully with your divine nature. But here's the thing. This journey never ends. There is always more to explore, more to remember, more to create. Keep meditating, keep questioning, keep pushing the boundaries of what you think is possible. Your spiritual practices aren't just nice add-ons to your life. They're essential tools for living as the divine being you are. And remember, your awakening isn't just about you. As you step more fully into your power, you contribute to the evolution of collective consciousness. Every act of love, every moment of expanded awareness, every choice to grow rather than shrink ripples out, affecting the entire fabric of reality. So ask yourself, how will you live differently now that you know who you really are? What masterpiece will you create on the canvas of your life? The power is in your hands, or rather, the power is you. You are the painter and the painting all at once. You're not just a tiny speck in the universe. You are the universe itself, experiencing life through human form. Every breath, every thought, every moment, it's the universe exploring its own infinite potential through you. Mind-blowing, right? This isn't just about making you feel good. It's the ultimate truth of your existence. So how would you live if you truly understood your cosmic nature? Would you still sweat the small stuff? Would you approach challenges with fear or excitement? It's time to step into your full power. See every moment as sacred, filled with divine potential. Your choices, your growth, your love, they're all shaping the very fabric of reality itself. You're not just along for the ride. You are the driver, the car, and the road all at once. Now that you know who you truly are, how will you live differently? Practice seeing the divine in others as well. 
Remember, they are also gods having a human experience, even if they've forgotten. This shift in perception can transform your relationships, fostering deeper connections and understanding. Use your co-creative power consciously. Set clear intentions for your day, your week, your life. Visualize what you want to create, not from a place of lack, but from a place of divine abundance. Feel the reality of your desires as if they've already manifested. This isn't wishful thinking, it's aligning your consciousness with the infinite potential of the universe. And remember, don't get bogged down trying to control every detail. You're co-creating with the cosmos. Set your intentions, then surrender to the flow. Trust that the universe is working with you even when things don't go as planned. Those unexpected twists? They're often the universe delivering something even better than you imagined. As you integrate these practices, you'll likely notice changes. Synchronicities may increase, opportunities may appear out of nowhere, and you may find yourself handling stress with more grace or feeling a deeper sense of purpose. Pay attention to these shifts. They're signs that you're aligning more fully with your divine nature. But here's the thing. This journey never ends. There is always more to explore, more to remember, more to create. Keep meditating, keep questioning, keep pushing the boundaries of what you think is possible. Your spiritual practices aren't just nice add-ons to your life. They're essential tools for living as the divine being you are. And remember, your awakening isn't just about you. As you step more fully into your power, you contribute to the evolution of collective consciousness. Every act of love, every moment of expanded awareness, every choice to grow rather than shrink ripples out, affecting the entire fabric of reality. So ask yourself, how will you live differently now that you know who you really are? What masterpiece will you create on the canvas of your life? The power is in your hands, or rather, the power is you. You are the painter and the painting all at once. You're not just a tiny speck in the universe. You are the universe itself, experiencing life through human form. Every breath, every thought, every moment, it's the universe exploring its own infinite potential through you. Mind-blowing, right? This isn't just about making you feel good. It's the ultimate truth of your existence. So how would you live if you truly understood your cosmic nature? Would you still sweat the small stuff? Would you approach challenges with fear or excitement? It's time to step into your full power. See every moment as sacred, filled with divine potential. Your choices, your growth, your love, they're all shaping the very fabric of reality itself. You're not just along for the ride. You are the driver, the car, and the road all at once. Now that you know who you truly are, how will you live differently?